Hey, how's everyone doing today? So, the very first thing you do when you first get your car, what do you guys do? Well, there's one thing I, I do no matter what. I don't even care what else has to be done. There's one thing I always do when I get it, and that is, of course, applying wax to the paint. This is no different. It's still Honda. We know the paint is not the highest quality, you know, I'll tell you on here, I can still find little defects here and there. So first thing I do, I drive it home, make sure it's washed really well. And then I apply a nice coat of wax on it. If you guys remember before, my favorite thing to use right now is this Meguiar's Gold Class Carnuba Paste Wax. I've really liked this stuff. It's easy to apply, has good results. Like I said, being a new, I mean, you could clay bar this car if you wanted, but for me, it's good enough. It's not for the perfect condition. I will say that. But for me, it's good. So this wax is a little different. If you guys ever used it, you apply it over the whole entire car first and let it dry, and then you buff it. So let me go ahead and show you. I'll apply it over the whole car. Okay, so like I said, it's a little different how you apply this one. You don't do sections. So you apply it over the entire car. So it definitely has to be cool. Don't do it when it's warm out. So I applied it everywhere. Mirror caps, all the paint. You can even do the, um, the tail lights, headlights. But, but it's, I like that. I did the spoiler, because we know that thing will get scratched up being gloss black. Just a nice once over. I kind of stay away from a lot of the emblems just because it's a pain with this kind of stuff, it'll leave like little residue around it. That's just me. And then once this haze is up, of course, when you're done doing it, you just get right back on it because it takes you time to put it on and you buff it. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff this car all off with a nice microfiber and I'll show you the end results. Okay, so check that out. Super slick. And when you're using it on a color, like my other cars have been silver, so it didn't make as big of a difference. But these colors, man, it just makes it look so much deeper. Applying a nice coat of wax. And you know these cars sit out at the lots. I mean, look at that. Looks really good. Took me about an hour, hour, 20 minutes, I'd say. Did that, did the mirror caps. I mean, look at that reflection here. Like I said, it matters more on darker colors as far as that goes. The silver never really looked that deep. But this really picks up the metallic in it. And the main thing is it's protected. You can see the shine there. So that would be my first advice for anybody getting a new car. Definitely protect it. Because these cars sit out in the elements. They don't get protected at the lots depending on how long they sit. And the paint's not the highest quality anyway. So it's the first thing you want to do. But like I said, I've been a huge fan of their products. The Meguiar's line works really good. Coming up here, I'll try a new product and see there's some new stuff that they came out with I want to try. But for now, I like this stuff. It's easy to use. It's about 19 bucks for the can there. And as you saw by the can, I've used it many times before. So it'll do a good eight cars probably. You know, a little bit goes a long way here. So just want to share that with you guys. Hope everyone's doing good, staying safe out there. I'll have another video coming up very shortly. So please subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks, everybody.